Hey guys, I wanted to create a tutorial that was pastel inspired or just with pastel shades I should say. So this is what I came up with. It's actually a lot easier than you think. I feel like all my tutorials are, not to brag or anything. Yeah, I hope you like it. It's fun, it's different. I know you could do it. It's just makeup, you know? So uh, let's get to it. I'm going to start with my eyes first. I'm going to be using the Highliner Matte Gel Eye Crayon by Marc Jacobs in Deja Blue pink of me and mist me. I'm going to start with the eyeliner in pink of me and I'm going to just place this all over my lid coming up to my crease and then taking Urban Decay Smoky Smudger Brush and I'm gonna go right over the liner and smudge it. Now I'm gonna switch to Deja Blue and I'm gonna put it right in the corner right in here, come down and wing it out. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you can always clean it up with a concealer brush, which I'm gonna do right now. So this is a small concealer brush by Sephora brand and I'm just gonna clean up the edge. There's nothing on it. It'll clean it up without any product on the actual brush. I'm gonna go back to that pink of me and just kind of clean up in here. <gasps> I'm liking this. I didn't really know what I was gonna film or like what I was gonna do. <laughs> so <laughs> this just kind of came into my mind right now. Uh, I wanna add this one, it's called Mist Me. Let's do this one. I'm gonna do it right underneath the blue. So like right in here. I want to set these liners because for one, I don't want them to crease, which they kind of are doing already. I just want them to pop a little bit more. So by setting them with a matte shadow or just shadow in general, uh, will prevent it from creasing or like going anywhere. So I'm going to start with this pink shade. It's called uh, Sorbet by Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to use like a flat shadow brush. This is the flat eyeshadow brush by Urban Decay. And I'm just going to go right over the pink. It's going to intensify it and then just set it. Now I'm going to take this shade Carnival by Makeup Geek as well. And I want to use a smaller brush because this purple is pretty thin. This is an Emma Bell brush, but it's just a very thin defining shadow. I think it's actually a liner brush. Go right over the purple. And then the only blue shade, matte blue I could find, is from a Coastal Scents palette I had. And this is such an old, this was like the first eyeshadow palette I ever bought, was this Coastal Scents palette. Um, and it's this like matte blue right here. It's the only blue I had. And same thing, I'm just gonna go right over the blue now. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye, and then we'll get to the rest of the face. Be right back. This looks crazy with no foundation. <laughs> For foundation, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I have the color Shell Ivory. I'm gonna try this guy out. I haven't used this yet, so I have no idea if it's good or not, but I've, it's a little paddle. I've heard that it's really good, you know? There's like a major storm, a brewing outside, so if you hear some whistling, it's the wind. Okay, I'm gonna take my It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Complexion Perfection Brush. I like this one because it's fluffy on one end that you can like buff in the foundation, then you get the little concealer on the other end. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, I found these at Walmart for $6. This foundation, I mean. I bought two. I also got this Soft Ivory. I just got this sponge too, it's by Sigma. Look at, it's like diamond shaped or something. What is the shape? But it's cool, cause you could really, with this corner, you could get under the eye, the fat end, you can stomp the yard. The corners, I don't know, contour. Oh, yeah, I just got this and I haven't stopped using it, which sucks, cause I just bought a beauty blender the other day and now it's like, I haven't been using it. And you know those beauty blenders, expensive. 
<laughs> I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer right underneath my eyes, sides of my nose, chin, around my mouth, forehead, and then down the center of my nose. Boom. I'm gonna take my sponge, blend it out. After blending out my concealer, I'm gonna set my under eye with my Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. I'm just gonna try with the sponge and see how, how she works. So right under my eyes, down the center of my nose, whoops. Middle of my forehead, everywhere that I put the concealer. You get it. I'm gonna use a uh, the Smashbox Step-by-Step -step Contour Palette to add some contour. I'm also gonna use my Sephora Face Contour Brush with this shade right here along my jawline, hollow of my cheek. I'm gonna take my sponge and just go over my contour to blend it into the skin so it doesn't look so choppy. What is this? What in the hell? Blush, I think I wanna do like a pop of a pink shade. So this is the Urban Decay Afterglow 8 Hour Blush and it's called Obsessed. I'm using my angled blush brush with it. I'm gonna do the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish, and this is in Skin Frost. It's got a blue shift, not blue, a purple shift to it. You can't really tell, not on camera. I'm gonna use my MAC 159 brush. Let's pop a little bit of the highlight at the arch of the eyebrow. Oh, it's so cute. I'm taking the blue liner and coming along my lower lash line and then taking that smudge brush and then softly smudging it downwards for like a light wash of the color. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do down here. I think that's cute. Let's go to the purple and let's add it in my waterline. Let's come right on the inner tear duct and then the outer eye. Yeah, that looks cool. You know, sometimes you just gotta play around and things will come together. I feel like when I plan things, I never like how it comes out. So if I just sit here and start playing, usually I, I create looks that I really like, you know? I think that's why it takes me so long to film because I'm just kind of sitting here like, well, what do I want to do next? What do I want to do? I'm going to do a coat of mascara on top and bottom lashes. And then I'm going to put on some false lashes. I'm going to do the Ardell 206 lashes. I'm going to do it off camera so my battery doesn't die, but I'm just letting you know what I'm doing. Okay, so for my lip, I'm actually just, um, this is very rare for me, but I'm not going to do a lip liner because I just did like three different lip liners and I didn't like any of them with this lip. So I'm just going to do no lip liner. So this is the MAC Love and Cherished Lipstick. It's pretty. I just kind of find a lip liner I liked with it. And you don't always have to line your lips, you know, so... Look it. I must say, I feel very naked without a lip liner. You gotta be careful, this lavender pink color, it always makes your teeth look yellow. It's just like the way it goes. I'm sure I could use this Marc Jacobs eyeliner. Let me clean it. Oh. And there you guys go. I really hope you like this look. It's definitely different. I mean, I 
It's still pretty though. I really like this eye. This lip is making my teeth look funny to the point where I don't want to open my mouth. Give it a try. Of course, you can use different eyeliners, different colors. Work with what you already got. As far as like this foundation goes, I really, I like it. I have like no complaints. Do I need it? No, but it was only $6, so I'll keep it, you know. I hope that you have a really good day today. Make good choices. Don't forget, it's just makeup. It washes off, so don't be afraid to just kind of play around and have some fun, okay? And I will see you guys later. Bye. Mm -hmm. Ooh, hi.